and welcome to HSK Online. My name is Alex. And my name is Rachel and we've got a great service in store for you at home today. We've got some singing, some dancing, a story, some craft. But before we get started, Alex, why don't you pray for us? Oh yeah, why don't you stand to your feet so we're ready to worship. Close your eyes really tight. God, thank you that we can worship you. Thank you that you are awesome and that you love us. Amen! You're doing a new thing, making my heart sing Bringing colour to this brand new day It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer You're always with me and you're here right now My song, a melody Your perfect love for me My heart is full of praise Take my 
Watching love be the shining light Breaking chains that were holding me You sent your sun down and set me free Everything of this world will fade I'm pressing on till I see your face I will live that your will be done I won't stop till your kingdom come Great job, everybody. Well, take a seat, get comfy, because it's time for our story. Hippie G, it's Alex. Hello, Alexander. I'm ready for the beach. When are you going to pick me up? I will be over to pick you up, but I've got a couple of errands to run. I've got to go and do a few bits and bobs, okay? So why don't you go and busy yourself? Go and have some fun, but I tell you, I will be there in a little while, okay? Okay, yeah, I'll try. See you soon. You adventure out. Oh, Alex, I was gonna ask if you wanted to come on a camping trip with me. I'm waiting for Hippie G to take me to the beach. I guess you can't because you're going with Hippie G. That would be fun, but no. I'll just wait for Hippie G. Hopefully she'll come soon. Well, Alex, don't sit around moping around doing nothing. Have a bit of hope. Hippie G's gonna come and get you. If you have hope, it will lead to happiness. Bye! Hippie G, please be you. I'm so bored. Hippie! Hi, awesome Al. Ah, uh, Alex. I was going to ask if you wanted to come and wash an old lady's car with me. I'm waiting for Hippie G to take me to the beach. And she's taking ages. I've been sitting here waiting for hours. I guess you're too busy waiting for Hippie G. That would be good, but no, I'm just going to wait here for Hippie G. Well, Alex, don't mope around doing nothing. You've got to have some hope. You see, when you have hope, it leads to happiness. Well, have fun. Okay, I'll try. Bye. Oh, Hippie G, please. 
please let this be you. I'm so bored. Hippie G, it's finally you. Yay! Of course it's me, Hippie G. I've been waiting for so long and it has been so boring. Alexander, you mean to tell me you've been set, bored, waiting here the whole time in this fluff heat? Oh, goodness me! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you I was coming and I said, you know, go and have some fun whilst you're waiting. You know, Alexander, if only you'd have had a bit of hope that I was coming, you would have been happy and you would have had some fun, hey? Mm, yeah, funny you say that. Adventure Al and Awesome Al both told me to have hope that you were going to come and pick me up. Yes, come on, boy. Let's get on the old scooter. <laughs> hope to happiness. In the Bible, there's a man called Abraham, and he's got a wife called Sarah who couldn't have any children. But Abraham loved the Lord. Abraham loved God. And God promised him that one day Abraham would have children, that he would be a father to the nations. At times, Abraham wasn't too sure. But most of the time, Abraham put his faith in God, which brought him great happiness. He didn't have a child yet, but he held on to the hope that one day he would. Because of Abraham's hope in God, he became the father of nations. Abraham had a son called Isaac. Isaac had a son called Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, one of which was called Judah. From Judah down the line, we had David who defeated Goliath. And from the family of David, there was a son called Jesus, who was the saviour of the world. Abraham always had hope in God, which brought him great happiness. In the Bible, it says that hope is an anchor for our soul. It keeps us safe. It keeps us secure. And I know when you put your hope in God, it will bring you great happiness. In the Bible, in Romans 5, verse 5, says this, and hope will never let you down. God has poured His love into our hearts. He did this through the Holy Spirit, whom He has given us. God's hope is for us, which brings us love, which brings us happiness, which brings us joy. So if you're just about to start a new school, if you're going to go to a new nursery or if there's something that makes you scared, have hope in God and that will bring you great happiness and great joy because God loves you so, so much. Hope to happiness. Let's get ready. It's the big word dance video. Over to you, Joanna, 
for totally awesome! Hello, it's time for another totally awesome, my favourite time, because it's when we get to hear all about what you have been up to. And today we're chatting to Daniela. Hi, Daniela. Hi, Joanna. So I hear you run your very own business. Why don't you tell us about it? I have a business called DB Creates um, and a K for the Creates. It's just wanted to include my initials. And it's a digital art um, business where I design portraits um, of digital art. I've been doing it for like about three years on and off, but I decided to take it a bit more seriously um, during quarantine since I didn't really you know, had time to waste. Okay, for those of us who don't know, what is digital art? And can you show us some examples? You draw on a like, uh, on computer aid or like on technology, like a computer aided design. So with my designs, um, I designed them on my iPad using Adobe Sketch. So yeah, it's just um, art on a digital technology thing, basically. So Daniela, how did you get started and what was it that inspired you? Started was, uh, I saw a lot of cartoons on Instagram. A lot of people made cartoons of pe um, other people's profile pictures. And I was really into that. And I knew, cause I've, I've been drawing like my whole life. So I was really interested in drawing cartoons digitally have you faced any challenges and how did you overcome them the challenge that i faced is creating a background sometimes uh, creating a background for some pieces it's because people send me their portraits and normally ask me to freeze off for the background so sometimes i kind of get into a state where i'm just like blank and i just don't know what to do for the freeze um for the background but one thing that really helps me is that um, I'm constantly on Pinterest, just pinning stuff that I like, some um, pinning stuff that I find interesting. So Daniela, what advice would you give to somebody who wants to start their very own business? People who want to start their own business, I say go for it. And also try to bring as much of you as possible um, try to make it more like you in a sense where people won't be able to find it anywhere else because a lot of people do copy each other and some things look similar and things that look similar are quite boring and it can be put off easily so try to find your craft, try to find your source like I like to say and try to build something that adds your personal flavour to whatever it is whether it be clothes or whether it be um, digital art just try to add your own flavour to it make it um, as personal as possible Okay Daniela, so what's next for you? For me is that um, this October I'll be going to Cambridge University to study architecture um, I love architecture, so it's, I'm very excited to um, embark a new chapter and journey in my life. And it's something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, Daniela. We wish you all the best at Cambridge. Now, if you'd like to tell us what you've been up to, we would love to hear about it. Send us a picture or a video, and you might see yourself right here with me on Totally Awesome. But until then, I'll see you next time. We're off to Dawn's house for Let's, Let's Get Crafty! Hey Chess Kate, have you ever looked at the night sky and gone, oh, how amazing are all the stars? Well, did you know in the Bible it says that God placed all the stars in the sky? And so today we are going to make our very own starry sky. So get your paints, your card, let's go. Okay, HSK, before we start, we need to make sure that wherever we're working is protected, is covered. As you can see, I've already made a bit of a mess. Now, we need some white card, we need some black paint, we need white paint, and any other color paint that you want to use. You can use blue, green, or red, because what we're gonna create uh, is something like this. So you can see the different colors, the effect that it gives. Now, before we do that, we need to paint our white card black. And we're painting it black because we need the paint to be wet rather than just using black card.
Okay, once your card is painted black, now we need to start doing our galaxy. So we need a, um, an old sponge, and we need to make it just a little bit damp. We don't want it really wet, just damp. And if you haven't got an old sponge, you can use kitchen towel, that's good. Don't use cotton wool, because the cotton wool sticks to the paint and it gets very messy. So with your sponge, dip it in the blue paint, okay? And then we're gonna dip it in the white paint and then maybe back into the blue and then we just take it across the page and we just dab it all the way and then you just keep dabbing and what happens is the colors blend into the black and because we put the white in with the blue it makes it look more like a galaxy don't worry if it looks too bright. What we can do is add, we keep blending, just add some black paint to it and then it makes it blending more to our sky. Okay, once you've got it looking how you want it to, now for the really messy bit. Okay. So what we need is an old toothbrush. Don't use your new toothbrush. Try and find an old one. If you don't, just use an, another paintbrush, but dry, don't get it wet. Okay, with your toothbrush, dip it into the water just a bit, then dip it into the white paint. Okay. And there we go. Now what you're gonna do with your thumb you're going to take it across the bristles, so lift your toothbrush higher, above the card, above what we just painted, okay, and then just send it across, like so. And if it is that you get some splodges, don't worry, just get a bit of tissue and dab it. And then while that's still a bit wet, use another paintbrush and try and find where your biggest splodges of paint are. Then with a the paintbrush, just kind of flick it across, which makes it look like shooting stars. And there we go. Your own night sky. Can't wait to see the ones that you've created. Have fun. Thank you so much for joining us today for HSK Online. We hope you have a great week. Now, don't forget to download the Hillsong Kids app for more fun things to do at home. Now, Alex, why don't you pray for us before we go? Awesome. Close your eyes really tight. God, we pray that we can have hope that leads to happiness. God, we love you and we thank you that you love us. We pray for a great week. Amen. Amen.